Hello and welcome to BBC News. The film director injured in a fatal shooting on the set of Alec Baldwin's new movie has spoken out for the first time. In a statement, Joel Souza says he is gutted by the loss of my friend and colleague, cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Ms Hutchins was killed and Mr Souza was wounded when a prop gun with a live round was fired by Alec Baldwin. There is an investigation going on as court documents suggest the actor was told the gun was safe moments before the accidental shooting. With more details, here's our North America correspondent, Sophie Long. We miss you. The simple words of a husband and a son whose lives have been changed forever. Sanitary fire and EMS on the location of emergency. In this audio released by emergency services, you can hear the script supervisor calling for help, describing what happened just moments before. We had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a pop gun. We need help immediately. We now know that when Alec Baldwin was handed the weapon, he was told it was safe, what's called a cold gun. Yet the shot, or shots it released, killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and seriously injured director Joel Souza. The person responsible for the safety of all weapons used on the Rust set was 24-year-old Hannah Gutierrez reed as the daughter of a legendary Hollywood armorer, she'd been around guns all her life. But just a month ago, she spoke of her lack of experience in the job. By all means, I'm still learning. But yeah, Dad has taught me everything. I think loading blanks was like the scariest thing to me because I was like, oh, I don't know anything about it. There have been unconfirmed reports of complaints about safety standards on the set and that a number of crew walked out hours before the shooting happened. At this stage in the investigation, we don't know if Hannah Gutierrez reed was among those that remained. Helena Hutchins honed her craft here. One of her teachers said she had a unique perspective of the world. As her friends, family and industry grieve and search for answers, a candlelit vigil will be held near the film set where she lost her life doing what she loved. Sophie Long, BBC News, Los Angeles.